welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our channel, man. To all the new subscribers, we thank you. We appreciate it, man. And we just thought we needed to drop a video for y'all. So today, our video is a little different. I told him that we need to do a podcast. So podcast. this is episode one of Life with PNB podcast. Oh, okay. Life with PNB talk. Life with PNB podcast. Or PNB talk. Just leave it in the comments. Let us know, and we're gonna go from there. So but we talking about we let the we let the people send us some questions too. You feel me? So we just gonna we just gonna Look, go we just questions a little bit. We just gonna bounce off of one question and All then right. you know get get deeper into it. All right. So what's the first question then? So um. Oh, we got a lot of questions. Oh, I got a question for you. All right. What's the question? So could you um. Could you date some? Well, I guess it's for both of us. But could you date somebody that makes less than you? Yeah, I can date someone. Of course. Because you can. Guess what? If I'm dating that person, man, uh, you. Uh huh. Yeah, you gonna have the same hustle mentality as me. So either I don't care whether you making. I don't care. But what if I don't? What like, if I don't if have the mentality? If you have no hustle, I will like. Basically, okay, I'm building you from scratch now. So you you're a builder, you're a builder, basically. Yeah. You're a builder. Yeah. Cause what? So like, you don't you, care I'm for leave that energy on you. So, like, but what if I what if I have the same? It ain't gonna like if you if around you me. With, oh, okay. I'm gonna force you to level up. You or the only way you like don't want to be with me if if like all right I don't want to be like I don't want to hustle I don't want to make no money like that's the only way you gonna leave for real. Right. But you that's know, the only like being with you is just no choice. You yeah, just, you ain't gonna have no choice. You gonna bounce off of me like the energy, the connects. Like you gonna have what I have. You gonna want to do what I do. Period. You oh okay motivation. Well, me I feel I feel the same. Like I don't sure. money yeah money people, money don't I, I like people for people. Like money don't move me at all. Like you can have the mo you can have all the money in the world and have the worst that's attitude. 10%. Right, but you can have all the money in the world and have the worst attitude, horrible personality. Like that money don't move me. Yeah, so I, I rather, you know, like you said, I rather I've been with people that didn't make as much as me, and like it's just about growing and building with your person. All right, how do you feel about people building with a person and they all of a sudden flip on them? What you mean flip? Like say you know I always hear the saying females be saying I built. Him up for the next girl. Mm, I like say he he all of a sudden getting money. He this big thing like he big now. Mm -hmm. And now he, you, oh, you he, just he, like he you not enough. You. you not enough for him. He shitting on you. Basically. Yeah, basically. How do I feel? Like how would you feel about like that situation? Uh, I would I would feel some type of way because that's natural. That's a natural feeling. But um. I feel like it's life, cause it happened. Like that happened to me before. Okay. I feel like I built, like in my past relationships, I definitely feel like I built a man up to the point where he, like, we leave and he go with the next person okay. and do better. Right. But that's just life. As far as when y'all females say build a man up, what do meaning you like when you okay, like you said, when you're in a relationship, you grow with the person, right? You grow. So like, for instance, for example, if. I got with you and you didn't have no communication skills. You was just a hothead. You ain't want to listen. You want to do that. And you got with me. And I literally like added that to your life where I'm teaching you how to communicate and talk to me and open up. And you still doing your little shit on the side. We break up. Now you go to the next person. You're going to give her all of these things that I tried to, you know. So you got the right to say, I built him up. No, I wouldn't say I build him up, but I would just say, um, like we learn from each other. Like I learn lessons. Okay, yes. Like just you, you like learn that. from them. Because a lot of people be saying, like, I made him, I built him up, and did this and that. Now look, let you me. You can let influence me, let me, strongly, influence a let person, me, but let me you throw can. a movie out there. <laughs> let me throw a movie out there. For an example, what's acrimony? What is it? Acrimony. Acrimony. Yeah. How would you? How do you feel about that situation? Cause she left him. She told she got the this the is, I ain't gonna lie. Um her their whole situation, I know everybody gonna be like, she was wrong because she left him. At the end of the day, I feel like it's the principle. Like she spent time, like you like they say, you cannot get time back. She I don't care what nobody say, y'all. She 
like she was living out his dream with him. She did not doubt him okay. not one time. She put her money up. She let him put her mama house up. She did everything to support his dream from the T. And yeah. to the I feel like it was the circum yeah. it was the circumstance. She never gave up on him out of all eighteen years. She never gave up on him until the same person he cheated on her with, she caught him with. So at the end of the day it became like a Oh, you trying to cheat on me again after I don't put I don't went through all of this with you. And then like it's like she ain't know what to understand. Like if I'm if I'm thinking you cheating, then you cheating. And then I I done did everything to support your dream and you done literally about the like my family business about to go down because you done left and then you come back to me and tell me that you turned down the eight hundred thousand dollar check. Rubs hands like Bro, Listen. you turned down a hundred thousand okay. dollar check. I okay, so, am leaving. Okay, you leaving, right? So that's what she did, right? She, did. she left, right? <laughs> she okay. Did. Yes. Well, she also let people get in her ear. She let her family okay, get in her ear. Okay, that's cool. That's cool and no. all. But look, okay, we about to lead up uh -huh. onto the the real. Right. Okay, you said you would leave. You right. she left uh -huh. just, just like she did. Yeah. Okay. Everything moved on. She filed the divorce. She wanted the divorce, right? Right. Okay, boom. Boom. Now, everything he was standing down for, his battery, right? What was yeah, battery? it was the battery okay. that he wanted to that, hit. That she didn't really believe in, right? Mm-hmm. She didn't believe in it, right? No, she believed in she it. She believed in it? Yeah, she yeah. she supported him the whole time. I'm saying in the battery. She supported... She, she supported, supported him the okay, whole supported, time. Okay, okay, she supported him the whole time. Paying okay. everything. He okay. did not want to work. Okay. He did not want to work. Okay. What okay. men don't okay. want to okay. work? Okay, okay, you okay. right. Okay, she supported him. Right. Let me, I changed it up. She supported him. Right. Okay, but she filed the divorce. She, she ain't want nothing to do with him no more. She put him out, right? Yeah. Okay. Because she now, thought he was cheating. Look, okay. Now, his battery hit. Right. The battery hit. They not together. Not together. For millions. Millions. He living up the dream life with his wife. With, with the person that he cheated on okay, her with. Okay, with the day. person that right. he cheated on her with. Mm -hmm. How would you feel? Do you feel... Wait, wait, wait. Let me change. <laughs> Dude, would you feel like for you me, needed parts in that? For me? Yeah. Honestly, yes, it's principles. Yes, I would feel some type of way. I would feel some type. Oh! Of way. I would feel some type of way. Why? Why? Because, like I said, you cannot get that time back. That's it's 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 and it's the fact that he fought. Look, he he fought, but he didn't fight enough. Like you should have, in the back of oh your my mind, God. you should have been like, this girl has been down with me since day one. No. Yes, she has been down. She literally gave up her mama house. Every bitch, she cannot have kids no more because of a choice she made because she decided to run over the trailer, boom, boom, bam. But still, like, I feel like she sacrificed a lot to support his dream. So when your dream hit, the first person, he did give her money. He gave her 10 million, which is a lot. Me, personally, after I got my 10 million, like, I would feel some type of way, of course. But after I got my 10 million, okay, this is not, we're not supposed to be together, boom. But why boom, would you feel life. some type of way? Because he didn't fight for you back. Yes, because she she gave up everything. But she was to him. look. It was eighteen years down the line. She wasted time. Out. She was through with him. He cheated. He cheated. Why would you want to be back with a cheater? You, that's true. Because of the money, right? That's true. Oh, and she didn't the want money. the money. She wanted half. Because <laughs> of the money. I said it was the principle. No, it's, it can't be the principle. It's the principle. It can't be. It can. Because if he, you should want to give me the world. Look, you should want to give me the world. I, that's time I can't so get look, back. You should so want to give me the world. Can, so, it's not right, about the money. All right. So you, you promised me all. Could I be with a cheater? Could I be with a cheater? Yeah. No. No. So why would you want a cheater to give you the world? <laughs> why? No, I'm being honest. I'm for real. <laughs> but I don't know. That's a little, I don't know. He really didn't cheat on her though. She thought he did. That's the thing. He didn't cheat on her. Oh, so he didn't cheat on her. No, he didn't cheat on her. She thought he thought she thought he did. Okay, that's not the question though. But look. Right. She put him out. Mm-hmm. Okay, she believed in him, but she was tired of him. Boom. 18 years thrown down. Look, 18 years go back. They wasn't talking or nothing. They was living different lives, right? They mm -hmm. living different No, they were together for 18 years. I'm saying after they broke up, they were living two different lives. They wasn't in com communication or nothing, right? Mm-mm. She found out his battery hit. Now she want to come back. No, 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 no. They were together when his battery hit. No, oh, it his wasn't. Oh, they wasn't. You're right. You're right. But I strongly feel like from the movie, the battery only hit because the girl he was with. 
So that's why I said I would have took the 10 Damn. million because when he went and sent the battery, they only wanted to give him 800,000. They were done. But because the girl that, you know, he cheated on her way back in the day and she worked there, she she saw like potential in his battery. So once he started li living with her, Oh. She did. She basically made the moves for him. Basically. Okay, now, now so that's why I said if he would have gave me ten million, see, I would have took it in now, left. I, did, I didn't know that. Now let me say this. All right. You see how he went to her with the battery, the mm -hmm. the, the 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 girl that he cheated on her with, mm -hmm. because you heard what she what you said. She seen potential in his dream. Right, she, but she could make that happen. Well, but she couldn't. Up. She didn't work there. She worked there. There's a difference. But. Could it be just the battery? Who knows? Did that's they how, did they say in the movie like yeah she she made this happen for him? It, it, that's how it looked. He was he was that's living. How it looked, no, but that, look, that, that's how they recorded it. Crazy. He was living in a shelter. She yeah. took him in, and then she took his stuff and was like, "I did this for it you." It was the battery though. Still, it was the battery, but she made the moves happen. The battery got in the right hand. She made the move happen. She okay, did it in the movie. If she did make That's the why I happen. said I would have took my the battery hit, and then she wanted to come around. Right. Yeah. Like I said, I would have took my ten million. No. And did. what if you didn't get nothing? If I didn't get nothing, oh, I'm about to. I'm gonna kill you. That ain't got nothing to do with you, though. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. All right, next question, y'all. I'm going to kill but you. But y'all ain't hit to the movie, y'all. Go I want And comment in the comment section below. Who you think was wrong? Who you think was wrong? Melinda him? or Robert? Who you think was wrong? Who, who was wrong, <laughs> y'all? Because she left him down. You feel me? She left him. Whatever. Even, like, I know what he did was wrong and all, whatever. You feel me? But... You got to support your, you got to support the dream. She did. She, you support, gotta support she supported the dream him. Or it ain't going to happen, man. If your, if your girl or your man ain't supporting your dream, man, it's not going to work out, y'all. Y'all might as well cut ties right now and, and, and cut, cut, the, cut, cut it right now. Just cut it up. Whatever. Anyways. Yeah, we're going to see who Next wins. question. Yeah, and we're going to put that on TikTok, too. We're going to ask that question. That's a question of the day. We should post that. No, they could comment on this. Yeah. What's the next question? So, um, I guess I can answer this too. But what's a what's a must have for a woman for you? A must have, good hygiene. That's a must have. A must. That's a must, or is you must? E. Boy, what? Nah, that's a must though. Like uh, hygiene. Hygiene, like. Hygiene teeth. is definitely hygiene is definitely one, but like tongue. <laughs> Oh my God, the tongue! <laughs> no, but I feel like okay, outside of hygiene and like personal, oh, like, you have to have a brain and you have to. Dang! Look, listen. Let brains, me tell you I, what my must have is. I'm just playing. Go I'm ahead. just saying, like, look, a must have for a female with me, you have to have your own thinking process. You like, even if you around a group of like around a re, oh. you around a bad environment. Ashy. You feel me? Bad meaning. A bunch of single girls. Ready why, to do whatever. why would that be? And, yeah, so what if all my friends are single of, and I, I'm, I'm in a, a bunch relationship? Of boppers and want to take you here and take you there. You have to have your own mindset. Like, okay, you you in this environment, you not doing this and doing that. You respecting yourself. You know? Oh, that's so I can have single friends that. Yeah, that's but boppers, you gotta but have. Gotta, that's why I say you gotta have your own mind. Right. You feel me? You can't be. You can't let nobody manipulate you and talk you into doing stuff. You know, not you. Respect yourself. I like that. For me, um, a must have for a man, you must have um ambition. Oh, Hustle, man. drive, like I don't want no lazy man. I don't want yeah. I don't wanna be the one that's always like, Come on, let's do this and let's do like it has to be mutual. Like I don't wanna have to feel like I'm being a man in the relationship. Like, get your ass up so that we can do this together or you know, vice versa. I like a man that motivate me. I wanna be submissive, like no, I like that you're dominant. Y'all, he made me submissive, and I don't know if I should. But oh, yeah, so I'm going to bounce off that question then. So how do you feel about the 50-50 the fifty fifty situation when females be like, I want a man to do this, so you want to be lazy all day? Because that's how it's looking. Um, for for me, fifty fifty. I don't feel like everything should be 50-50. Like, 50-50, you know, don't you feel I feel like, like everything should be like, 
it should be a team like if we're if we're together it should be a team thing it should be a team thing like we should be able to talk about what's this and what's that or like not even being what's this or that like we handling the household together it should be like all right babe i got this or i got that and whatever you got this okay you got this i'm gonna go get this and we do that like that's just about gender roles like the only gender role that I feel should be very, very strong is, like, a man taking out the trash. I shouldn't have to take out the trash. But, like, dishes, we should both do the dishes. Laundry should not just be a woman's thing because there's a lot of men out here that don't even know how to wash their own clothes. Separating streets, and sorting. Streets. Like. And if you got streets, you ain't no man at all. You talking about streets. Hey. No, but for real, like, 50-50, I, I don't feel like it should be 50-50. Right, I'm going to tell, you know. tell you my, I'm going to tell you my. If that's your choice, then yeah. My thoughts. And I'm going to keep it real, y'all. This is how every man every man thinks mm -hmm. about the situation. So, if you a man, you would know, like, boom. Our job is to take care of everything, period. Mm -hmm. As a man. Our job. As a man, our job is to take care of everything. But if you have a woman like this, you feel me? You in good hands. Oh, I'm saying, like, me. if you have a woman. <laughs> as a man, it's our job to take care of everything for us. Bills, like just catering. You feel me? You right. have to cater to your woman because if you don't, it's don't you won't feel like a man. You feel me? Like thing. That's our job is to protect and take care. We don't want our girls to do nothing, to be honest. All right. And that's why most relationships don't last because a man will feel like Dang, I can't even do nothing with this girl. I can't do nothing for this girl. So that's why guys don't get in no relationship. They always keep a female a friend. Like, they'll be like, dang, I can't even. I ain't in a, Or a guy that's building himself up right now, he don't want to get in no relationship because he feel like, dang, I can't do nothing with her right now. Like, I'm I'm doing me So right you feel now. like if a guy acting funny with a girl now, somebody he, 10, it's because he, he messed up. He can't provide or he can't and, do nothing. Right, okay. Yeah, he, he can't provide or he can't do nothing. That's nine times out of ten the situation, y'all. Or he really building himself up and focused on his goals. And but if you gon' you gonna know when he doing that because you won't see him on the internet. You gonna see if you see him out somewhere, he gonna really be focused on his goals, doing goalie stuff. You yeah. Feel me? Not on the internet playing playing and... around. You feel me? Then he lying, I guess. Yeah. Right. But yeah, not, I feel like the man is supposed to take care of everything. Period. But if not, <laughs> <You're on your laughs> <side. laughs> the man's supposed to take care of everything, though, y'all, for real. But that don't mean go out and be lazy. We always, when we say that, see, we might say that, you feel me? And we might do everything. But that don't mean but that, take like, advantage we still of want you to contribute, you feel me? Right, and right, like, right, to, right. like, don't be lazy. Just don't be lazy and, like, make us feel like, dang, like, what do you want to do? Like, is you going to do something? Because in the back of his head, that's what he's saying. Like, a girl want to go get a BBL and just sit around it. The, them looks in that body might be cool. But I'm telling you, that man, is he will do that with the next female. He will do that with the okay, next so female. Okay, so. Period. Are you, um, are you dating outside your race? Dating outside my race? No, yeah. I am not. So you won't date nobody that's not black? And I mean like oh, Hispanic. Just, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You you would? Yeah. Like far as like No, 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 no. So you only like black girls? No, like, look you at, said no. black like 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 No, 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 or... like race, race. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm, Hispanic. Only, I'm only dating black girls. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm only dating black women. I ain't going to I don't want nobody to point the finger like he racist. No. I'm not racist, y'all. I just that's your purpose. That's just me. Like yeah. I love dark skin. Mm. You feel me? I love dark skin, bro. Like mm. I just like dark skin. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Like, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just, just asking what you think outside your race. That's it. No. And would you? No. I can't see no white meat touches. How many? How many white meats you had? I've never had no white meat. Please stop playing me. Y'all, we, we, we ain't getting into that, but I wouldn't date outside my race. Like, Why not? Not even like, well, technically, you're outside my race. If I was to... If well, I, no, you're black. I was about to say you too. <laughs> if I was to bring a, a outsider to my grandma, you know what's my grandma going to do? <laughs> you're going to be like, who is this? Hey, she going to say crap. She is going to say something crazy. Mm. My, my grandma ain't got no filter. 
How was it growing up? What? Growing up, bro. Oh, I had a good childhood. So you lived a teenage lifestyle. I lived a teen like I wanted to act. My you age. lived like like a kid. Like you lived like a. Kid. I wanted to act my age. Like, like it was a lot of kids like growing up, over like all the people I knew, hunching, in middle school. I just opened that phone. Boy, I wasn't, I wasn't in middle school. Oh. <laughs> hey y'all, we just opened up her iPhone six. <laughs> From fucking 2014, 15. Yeah. Damn, that was 14 for real. Dang, that was a long time ago. But I was in high school. Definitely like junior, senior year. <laughs> but nah, like, I, I wanted to be a kid. I love being a kid, being outside. Playing. I was a tomboy. Hey, y'all, I grew up, man. Where I grew up at, Stanley Road, Lockhurst Lane. Boy, you better shout your hood out. I, I grew up with a few people. Hmm. Like, and we had a little childhood, but we grew up fast. Like, I didn't have no, I didn't have no teenage lifestyle at all. Like, I oh, straight you? grown, like grown life after that. After I went from kid to grown. Damn. Like fast, like. It's okay, you learn from it. But I'm glad I did. Like, but I, sometimes I be looking back like, dang, boy, if I. Like, all these shows y'all be coming up to me, like, saying, oh, like, have you watched this and you watch this? He's I, like, no. I'm like, man, I ain't never get to watch TV like that. Like, it's not cool. saying it's my cool. mom was gonna, a bad gonna, mom, but, like, we, we, mom, like, it was a lot of us growing up in the house. So, we, it's like, we was looking out for each other. Like, yeah. we was too busy to take care of each other, make sure we had this and had that. You feel me? We ain't had time to really, if, even if we did watch TV, like, Why am I not that's not that long. Somebody's it's alright, we're gonna put on the old shows, Netflix, get you caught up. Ain't no time for no TV though. <laughs> you don't even watch TV now. I can't sit down and watch TV if my life depended on it. What's the next question? Define <laughs> What does love mean to you? Love to me. <laughs> I wanna ask y'all one time. Comment in the comment section below. What is love to you? Like, what pops in your head when you think of love? All right, but we love, asking you. Love, to me, like, to be honest, is just a word. Really? Because, look, love. So when you say When you, you love, love somebody, me. what is you doing? It's feelings, right? Yeah. Like, dang, I got a feeling for you. Yeah. I'm feeling you. Mm -hmm. Like, that's all I think. Like, that's all I think about is, like, feelings. So, so, so. It's you a deep feeling like a deep emotional feeling like a care a caring feeling right yeah so love is caring, caring. is it unconditional i don't could you love somebody and still be unloyal to them yeah i'm not so saying me i'm love. just saying like because love and loyalty is two different words i'm Okay, so so what? It, but you're but what you're saying is right. Love is definitely a feeling. Like I strongly feel a way for you. Like I care for you. I love you. Yeah. But it's just like what is but actual ask, but, love? Like what does yeah, what, love actually mean? What is it though, y'all? <laughs> we all be throwing that word out. Like, I love you. I love you. I love you. Like I guess it's just okay. it's just a stronger meaning. Like when you say love, I think. I it have just, a strong, it got a stronger pull to it, like love. Like, <laughs> yeah. I have a strong feeling for you. Like, yeah, I got a strong feeling for you. Like, I really, I love. Like, you care. <laughs> love and care is two different words. I care you. I, what? No, yeah, I don't know. So, you, you would say you love me? Like, when you really feeling somebody and when you really just want to give your all to them, that's when you say, I love you. Like, oh. yeah, I love you. So, Feel you me? love me? Yeah. <laughs> So you really like care for me like a real strong. Yeah. Like when you like, really put your you, when you want to what? Damn, that's that water burp. <laughs> Go. When you want to if putting your life on the line for somebody. Yeah. You put your life on the line for me. What I put my life on the line. Oh, you just add. You just no. Add like I got. I <laughs> pack my. Let me get my Stop. stick. No, my girl, stick girl. my Kroger no, bag. Girl. Would you put your life on the line for me? Wow. No, you talking about let me get my stick. I'll I'll answer, I'll answer, well, you I, okay. answer a question with a question. Okay, if I'm being, uh, would I put my life on the line? Like, would I kill? We not married. Ooh. Zoom in and put the broken heart. <laughs> no, it's not a broken heart. That's a real thing. So like, you can't say you love me, then. 
I do love you. You can't. I do. You die for what you love. <laughs> You die for what you love. No, I do love you, but would I like literally put myself in harm's way to protect your life over mine? Me, selfishly speaking, I would not. Me and your daddy hanging from a cliff. <laughs> Come on, me and your daddy hanging from a cliff. I'm not gonna lie, cliff. to be honest, I'm letting both of y'all go. I don't Why? I wouldn't save nobody. Why? Because that's too hard on me to know that I picked the person over the Me next. and your mama. I'm letting both of y'all go. I can't. My mom and my auntie, I'm letting both of them go. My mom and my daddy, I'm letting both of them go. For real? Yeah, I could, I couldn't, I couldn't live with the fact to know that I let one of y'all die again. It just as anybody, I wouldn't let nobody like know, and I wouldn't meet put nobody in your, like. Me and the newborn, in your newborn. Huh? Me and my our, child. Yeah. <laughs> bye, bye, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you're supposed to die for what you love, so we can't, we can't keep. We from this day forward, we can't say we love each other. I care you a lot. I care for you a lot, though. Stop that. No, because you don't love me. Would you die for me? No. Exactly. So, what are you talking about? I love my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's not like that. Like, no, I, I, know I what feel you mean. like, yeah, I love you a lot. Like, I really do. Like, I love you to the point where I can literally feel you. Like, like if I was to have to choose between <laughs> anybody that I really love, you choosing yourself? I am, I am jumping down. <laughs> you I'm jump, take yeah, out? I'm gonna take myself out. Why? Because I'm not about to be left to choose. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. But that's why I said I would let them either let them or, you know. You already let them go. I'm gonna let. See? You <laughs> see, gonna, you gonna take yourself you, out for other you people. You can't both of them. You just said you, you can't wanted, both of them, though. But you just said you love if, your life. If my life. If they like, if two people like was on the line and I had to choose, I'm, t I, I'm, I'm not about to be the one to choose. So you gonna I'm pick yourself? I'm gonna take myself out, so I won't have to choose. But you are, you have to choose two people. So it's either you choose chose them. both of them. So you gonna choose? Yeah. So, <laughs> so you gonna choose them over yourself? Yeah, I have to. Well, that's fair. But I don't know. Uh, I can, I would, I walk away and pray. I always want to ask the question. <laughs> No, but I, for me, love, I don't know, like you said, love is a feeling. Love is a feeling. So, do you feel like I'm your soulmate? What you mean by that? A soulmate. What's a soulmate? A soulmate is somebody that I feel like you connect with on a different level. Like, I'm not going to lie, ever since I met you, I, I told you this all the time, though. Like You've been eating too much junk. Boy! So, to, uh, able to tap in soulfully. Oh my God, please. Can you stop? <laughs> no, able literally, to listen. tap in soulfully, you have to be up here with the vibrations. In order to be up here with the vibrations, you have to eat healthy and meditate and stuff. You haven't been doing either. And you have? I'm on day one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on day no, one. Today, no, but literally. Or I'm on day two, actually. Can you no, listen? Yeah, you, you my soulmate for sure. Aww. We you almost make, you almost we tapped in. We tapped in. No, for real. Like, no, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, ever since I met you, like, you know how I be telling you, like, I could feel your energy, like, even when you're not here. Like that, that shit is real. I've never experienced that a day in my life. So that's how I kind of knew. Oh, you get it, Alright. No, but I'm so serious. Like, I literally would feel you, like, that's every energy. every single time. I'd be like, what the hell, like. That's energy. And, like, you know how yesterday I was like, I'm, I've been thinking about you. Like, I literally could just feel you the whole time I was You remember here. what we said in the shower, though? What? Oh, yeah. Y'all, we was in the shower, and we was trying to set a date for, like, when we wanted to move into our apartment for um Houston. And I was like, okay, I'm thinking of a date in my head. And I was like, it's going to be in May. But I was like, um, we just gonna say the number and whatever number we say with that, like, that's the day we're gonna like move out. And I was like, I got a number in my head. I already had the number in my head. Me he was too. like, I got a number two. So I was like, okay, on three, we're gonna say the number together. We was like, one, two, three, 15. Like we both said 15. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, no, literally, it was like, crazy. Real. Like, and I had never told him the 15. Like, where did you even get that number from? In my head. I told you. You know what? You know where I got that from? What? Oh, you remember a long time ago when I told you I had that dream about you? Yeah. And I told you that the date was that date? Yeah, so. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. May 15th. Yeah. Why are we, why are we, we're not, not just waiting. That's good. 
But like, yeah, y'all. I don't know. I just feel like I'm really, really connected to him. And I don't know if it's because we be doing the angel number thing. I don't know what it is, but I just feel very, very. And then, y'all, we had went to Walk Mellow, and this lady, we never met her. Like, my neighbor, y'all, we, I think it's like their mom or something. One of their moms or something. But when he was walking Mellow, I walked out. She was like, you are so pretty. And then she, I was walking back, and she was like, I've never, like, she was like, what did she say? You seen she, the video? I walked out, and then she said, Oh, she was like, she can feel our connect, like, she can literally feel our energy, and she was like, y'all have, like, really good energy, and she was like, is that the lucky fella? Like, she ain't even know me. I always was told that I had good energy. I got plenty of stories, times, like, I, that's, that's all I move on, is energy, like, go with my gut feeling, you know? I'm so, always a, I'm a spirit, you know, I'm spiritual. You're very spiritual. I'm very spiritual, y'all, so. Especially when it comes to energy, vibrations, and. Yeah, so, when I feel something negative, I can't even be around. I'm so spiritual and so high vibrated, like, I can't even be. Take it, yeah. yeah, I can't be around no negative person and negative energy, you feel me? Because energy is real, y'all. Energy will drain you. You gotta watch your environment, watch the people you hang around, watch the conversations you engage in. Yeah, Feel that's me? true. A lot of people be talking negative. All that will drain you, and then you got your own life problems. So that's all weighing down. You know what they say, stress kills. And don't be, y'all, don't be afraid to, like, I feel like a lot of people are afraid to, like, lose people because they've been there for so long. But, y'all, isolation is preparation for elevation. Like, just remember that. So when God... When you feel like God removing all these friends and all these people, they not going along with your plan. Nine times out of ten, they ain't in the they ain't in the vision. They ain't in the blueprint. Yeah, they ain't look, in nothing. So anything that you're going through, just know God making paving the way. You feel me? So anything you can be going through a breakup, you can be getting kicked out of your house, you can be somebody just passed. Anything can be happening bad. You feel me? It's always something going on behind that reason. You feel me? It's always a blessing in disguise. You know, we learn from our, you we learn from things, y'all. You feel me? Have you ever been through something so so crazy and like you just felt like at your worst, but you learned something during that time? You feel me? And then you sit and think about it, like, dang, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have never knew this if I wouldn't have, uh, went through that. You feel me? Right. So you gotta just. Look at things like, dang, this is a blessing in disguise. So, I don't care what it is, y'all. He made you go through that because he know that you strong. You feel me? And period. And that's period. And that's period. <laughs> and that's period. period. Oh, okay. Period. I got period. period. <laughs> that's my brother. That's my bro stuff, man. Shout out Goonie two times, man. But look. Okay, so. Do you think... um? Do you think that it's hard to find your person now, nowadays? If you strongly feel like that's what you want out of life, you was going to get what you want. Y'all, manifest, manifestation is real, you feel me? If you a genuine person looking for your person, it's going to come to you, mm. period. But if you are faking it and hoeing and doing all this one stuff, no. You're going to keep getting the same nigga, the same nigga going to keep coming your way. Mm. The same niggas. Mm. Same type nigga. You're going to nigga with a bag, going to fuck on you and throw you away. You're going to find a nigga with a bigger bag, he going to fuck on you, throw you away. It's going to keep happening. It's a it's a cycle with that. Yeah. You feel me? But if you're truly trying to find somebody, it's going to come your way, man. So what if you're not trying to find nobody? Like, you, wasn't, you wasn't trying to find me. Something going to come your way. Everything happens for a reason, Every like when you when your when your life on the line when you going through things stuff just be happening Aligned, yeah stuff just be happening you never know you feel me just don't just go for it man yeah you scared to go to church <laughs> feel me just go for it though man that's all I'm gonna say you attract you are what you attract you are what you attract but sometimes you attract the wrong things and I found my person. I, I think we should do a part two, y'all. Should we just wrap it up? Of course. Right this, this, this episode one. How y'all feel about this little conversation? Should we do one, two more? Two more. Yeah, let's, let, let's bring up two more one time. Two more questions. Let's see. 
two more. Hey, y'all, we met on TikTok. Not hey, y'all, we met on we TikTok. We met on TikTok to clear the air. So you feel like, <laughs> did you feel like you would ever fall, like, did you ever think that you would find the love of your life? You know what I mean? <laughs> Did you feel like you would ever find? Why are you smiling? Am I the love of your life? <laughs> uh-huh. I'd be like, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. No, stop. I'd be like, left, right. Let me see you do. No, for real, for real, though. Did you ever feel like you would find your person on TikTok? On TikTok, no. No? Y'all. I ain't even gonna bring up the story why I was on TikTok. <laughs> right, because that's looking. behind you. Y'all, that. see, that's why I say things happen for a reason. Right. Because I would have never been on TikTok. <laughs> Y'all, that's why I say things happen for a reason, though. It, but the thing is, I wasn't looking for nothing. I, I was just I wasn't either. depressed on TikTok. I was on. Rolling. Your laugh pop right there. I just click on there just being me, just talking. But you talking. know, I didn't even I didn't even see How did I come off though? I was just talking shit, right? Yeah, you was just asking That's me about am. you was on there just talking about play this song, play that song. I just be talking. But the thing is, I had seen your page before you even got on my live. Like I had seen your that one video, that little traveling video. I had seen that video. And I was just like, Oh, okay, black man traveling. You got a little bag. I was like, Okay, you look good. Real great. <laughs> But look, I didn't even like budge or nothing. That's the crazy thing. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Right. But like, I had just seen, <clears throat> I had, I just seen your video, but I wasn't even like budging or nothing. I was just like, I just seen this goddamn profile picture somewhere. Yeah, you. Yeah. I don't even know if I followed you though. Yeah, big fish. No, you was in my comments though. <laughs> big fish. No, big fish. I knew I was gonna get you. No, you didn't. It was easy. No. <laughs> yes, you was. I'm like, oh yeah, no, watch this. Easy. No. Hit you with the old, the oldest trick in the book. What? Hey, Miss Ass, I'm very much. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you go. Fell for it. No, that's not how it happened. You want to go to our messages? Bro, we can go to our messages, but how did you get to my messages? Here go to the messages. How, did you, how did you get to my messages? Look at the messages. No. But anyways, y'all, thank y'all for watching episode one of Life with PNB oh. podcast or... Like, PNB, PNB talk. Like PNB. with PNB podcast, y'all. Period. Period. Ain't no PNB talk. PNB talk. PNB talk. PNB talk. PNB talk. Or messy, being messy with PNB sign. Uh, but now I hope y'all enjoyed our first little podcast. This was fun to actually do. Keep y'all updated, y'all, man. We still here. We still alive. We still here, y'all. We on TikTok, though. They got the shadow ban us. But we just been working, y'all, trying to get these videos out and make content and do this and then do that. Yeah. But we, ugh, I can't even talk about. But we hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what y'all want to see more of. Turn that notification bell on right now. Per usual, we love y'all. Turn that notification bell on right now. And we posting shorts daily. Repost. We love y'all. We're going to see y'all in the next video. Bye.